357 Magnum, odd cartridges and hard barrier penetration. And what I mean by odd cartridges are cartridges that are not typically just a, a lead bullet or jacketed lead bullet. Now I do have a control sample here and this is the 158 grain Hydroshock. I'm gonna run that just to see how it compares to the rest, but the rest are kind of not typical cartridges. Um, next we have a full copper double tap, which uses a Barnes bullet. Next up is the 357 Magnum 140 Green Extreme Penetrator. With that name, Extreme Penetrator, we should get the most penetration, theoretically. Um, we probably won't, though. Next, we have the Fort Scott TUI. I believe that's a 125 grain solid copper bullet. Interesting design. Then we have the Barnes Vortex, which is a very similar bullet to the Double Tap Barnes bullet, but instead of a more of a pointy 110 grain, this is a 140 grain. Next, we do have a 180 grain hard cast in Underwood. The next two are gonna be really interesting. The Inceptor ARX with the, I believe it's um, 57 or something like that grains. Actually, I think it's 78 grains, something like that, of the Copper Polymer Matrix. And last but not least, the Civil Defense 50 grain solid copper hollow point. Well, it's not quite solid, but you know what I mean. So what I have for a hard barrier here, uh, first layer here is 18 gauge steel. It's a little bit thinner than a car door, but, but not by much. And the rest, what we have is just wood. And what I have is four three quarter inch pine boards, I believe they're pine. Then we have a couple half inch layers of that um, chip board, whatever you want to call that stuff. Uh, not real wood. Well, it is real wood, but not real wood. And then the last layer, we have two inches of two by fours. And then this is just a uh, cardboard just to kind of hold it all in place. So let's get started with the test. I am going to fire from about seven yards, maybe eight yards just to be safe. And we'll see how all these cartridges compare to each other with the hard barrier penetration. So let's get started with uh, shooting these. All right, back I'm about uh, seven and a half yards. Uh, first up, we're going to do the Hydroshock, then we're going to do the Double Tap 110, then the Extreme Penetrator, then the Fort Scott. So let's get started. Here's the traditional... 158 grain Hydroshock. Hoo -hoo, big dent in that. Next up, we have the 110 grain Double Tap. Next up, we have the Extreme Penetrator, 140 grain. Next up, Fort Scott TUI. All right, let's move on to the last four rounds. All right, next up we have the Barnes Vortex 140 grain. Next up, we have the 180 grain hard cast. That one's got a lot of recoil. Next up we have the Inceptor ARX. That one has almost no recoil, so I pulled the shot a little bit down, but it's still on the box. Last but not least, the Civil Defense 50 grain. That one impacted a little low as well, uh, but it looks like it's still inside of that wood. So let's go up and take a look. So I wanted to get a close-up shot of this. Looks like the uh, Civil Defense was a little bit low of an impact. Uh, nothing coming out the bottom of there, so those are all in there. Um, looks like I pulled the Extreme Penetrator a little bit, but the rest of these are pretty decent shots. Uh, so let's take this thing apart and have a look. So before I open this up, I just wanted to show that we don't have any pass-throughs out the back of this box. So all these bullets are inside of here. All right, so I have this pack apart. I have the metal for reference, and of course we went through the metal very easily. Um, no surprise there. So through our first board, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we have eight holes. It looks like we have eight ex exits as well. Board two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, we went through that as well. That's no surprise there. This is the third layer of three quarter inch pine. 
we went through those two and the remaining four we went through as well so 18 gauge steel uh three three quarter inch layers of pine this is our fourth three quarter inch layer of pine and it looks like exit holes throughout all of these four boards but i can see a couple no uh, maybe three or four things here all right so we have a lot of captures here after we went through those four layers of three quarter inch i see one two three four off off hand right now that i can recognize as bullets so i'm going to try to pull these out and show them so here we are in this board of strand board here and here is the hydroshock right away and this actually expanded quite well for what it is i would not have expected to see it expand so well the next one we have here we have that double tap this is the 110 grain that kind of expanded inward that's very cool to see it like that the next one we have is that um, polymer matrix ARX and there's actually deformation so these deform not necessarily just break up this is deformed it looks kind of mushroomed which is interesting to see that and then the last one in this first strand board here is that core of that Liberty ammunition that's cool um, it's got this little front on it and it opens up <laughs> that's really interesting to see that so we stopped half those bullets in this for sure and we'll have to open up in between the next layer here and there is more bullets a couple more here so what we have right here big big dent in the next piece of the strand board here that's going to be a hard cast, a 180 grain hard cast. Really good mushrooming. It looks a lot like the Hydroshock here. So when we go through wood, a Hydroshock and a 180 grain hard cast are very similar. And we also have a bullet right here. This is going to be the Barnes Vortex. 140 grain it's very interesting because there's like a little layer that broke off that you can't see it's in the wood here but here's the 140 grain vortex and here's the 110 grain vortex so the 140 grain actually deformed a lot more so we're still missing two rounds we're missing the extreme penetrator and the Fort Scott TUI. So let's take a look here. And it does look like those two are either in this last piece of strand board or they penetrated through. And this is really cool here. Off the back of the strand board here, I can see an exit. And it looks like there's two bullets right here. Starting on the two by fours. What we have here is the Fort Scott TUI. This was never extraordinarily pointy, the 357 Magnum version's not, but it still deformed quite a bit here. And the winner! I was being sarcastic saying that the Extreme Penetrator would be the winner, but that's the winner. Now it wedged itself between two boards here, so it didn't actually penetrate necessarily more than the Fort Scott because the Fort Scott caught more of the board. So I'm going to say the Extreme Penetrator and the Fort Scott are identical for penetration. Here is the Extreme Penetrator. This is really cool. The whole thing really shifted in to make a round nose. That's interesting to say the least. 
So here's a close up look. We have the 158 grain Hydra Shock. We have the 110 grain Double Tap. We have the Extreme Penetrator. We have the Fort Scott TUI. Down here we have the, the Barnes Vortex, the same bowl as that, but a 140 grain. And we have the 180 grain Hardcast. Next we have that Inceptor ARX. And then last but not least, we have that Liberty Civil Defense. So if I had to pick an ultimate loser here for this type of test, I would say the Civil Defense here did not penetrate as far as the others. But that might be something that, that somebody's looking for, for like a home defense cartridge. And the highest penetrators for sure were the Extreme Penetrator and Fort Scott TUI. I would say the best performing classic looking rounds are definitely going to be the Hydroshock and the Hardcast. So if you wanted to use the Hydroshock or the Hardcast for hunting, I think that would be those two would be an excellent choice here. Hunting for these two, um, extreme penetration for these two, uh, low penetration for this one. The ARX, um, not really sure how to define that one. And I would say these barns are going to be your best probably personal defense rounds if you don't want too much you want a good you know combination a good balance I, I would say these barns did well so that's what you get today with the hard printer penetration test with 357 magnum so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching